Hi, my name is Hanzo Min from DKB3 and my metric number is 01DKB19F4009. My group members are Muhammad Ayman Haslan, Ahmad Kamil Hatimi and Muhammad Arif. Today, I am going to talk, talk about the qualification of sales executive and marketing executive. Now, I am going to talk about the qualification to become a sales executive. Firstly, the education level needs to have competency in English. Because English is an international language that everyone needs to speak about it. Secondly, experience is required, such as experience in sales. A number of larger companies recruit for sales positions as part of their graduate training portfolio. The training is sometimes combined with marketing, as organizations seek graduates who will work towards becoming commercial leaders of the future. It will be helpful to you if you can gain experience in a customer facing environment such, such as retail or hospitality. Next, specific skills. You need to have the ability to negotiate and understanding of marketing skills. If you have required these skills, many customers will buy from you. Then, personal characteristics. You need to have a positive thinking such as self-motivated and goal-oriented. Designed to deliver results. This is because if you think positive, you can do everything. After that, certification are needed. Fresh university graduates are encouraging to apply. This will be the first step to become a sales executive for those young generation. Finally, license. Driving license is required because you need to drive for traveling between locations. Last but not least, you need to have physical abilities, for example, physical endurance, as sales executives may need to be on their feet for long hours, spend a lot of time traveling between locations, and carry heavy products. Next, I'm going to move on to the qualifications of becoming the marketing executive. Firstly, educational level. You need to have the knowledge of strategic planning principles and marketing best practices. Secondly, experience. You can post experience as marketing executive or similar role. Employees will also be looking for experience from part-time work or extracurricular activities that demonstrate customer interaction and communication skills. Examples of include being a student ambassador during a university open day, street teaming or other promotions work, tele sales work and working in retail. Next, specific skills. Excellent communication and deeper skills is the most important because this is also the best way to make friends with the customers. Then, personal characteristics. Strong organizational and time management abilities is also very important because you will learn how to organize and manage your time. You will know time is money, so you will not waste time. After that, certifications. Fresh university graduates are encouraging to apply. Young university graduates can grab this chance and the first step to become marketing executive. Finally, license. Driving license is required because you need to drive while traveling between locations. Last but not least, physical abilities. You have a prolonged period of sitting at a desk and working on a computer. This will let you learn many things. That's all for me. Thank you. Hi, and Assalamualaikum to Puan Huda. My name is Muhammad Ahmad Shazlan bin Roslan. Metric number 01DKB YIF2008. Today, I would like to talk about responsibilities and duties of sales executive and marketing executive. First is sales executive. The point number one is conduct market research to identify selling possibilities and evaluate customers' needs. <coughs> For example, we research for customers that love something like love food so we need to emulate the customer needs with the food such as pizza have pepperoni so we use pepperoni the second point is 
actively seek out new sales opportunities through cold calling, networking, and social media, such as Facebook, Instagram, or WhatsApp to take opportunities to attract the customer using those social media like always posting and make a content or make a content and copywriting at social media. <coughs> Third is set up meeting with potential clients and listen to their wishes and concerns. For example, we try to make customers or regular customers they want like if something in our product have problems so we can solve the problem from the customer's review. Four, prepare and deliver appropriate presentation on products and services. For example, we want presentation about fried chicken. So we need to know how to cook fried chicken and have the right ingredients of fried chicken. Five, create frequent reviews and reports with sales and financial data such as always mark after you have done your sales and mark the price of product at financial data because you need always do a reviews from your past sales <clears throat> okay we move on to next jobs that is marketing executive so the first one the first point is overseeing and developing marketing campaigns for example do advertisement from your social media for developing your marketing at the social media because from the era COVID-19 customers always buy online so we need to do advertisement we so we need to do advertisement the advertisement can reach mostly more than 1000 the most cheaper ads advertisement at facebook second are conducting research and analyzing data to identify and define audiences are same as number five or sales executive third are devising and presenting ideas and strategy such as make a content like hard copy at social media to attract the customer or make a template to attract the customers for a promotional activities such as make a best discount or give them free shipping or delivery of someone wanted if someone wanted to cash on delivery and make a best deal with customers Finally, compiling and distributing financial and statistical, statistical <coughs> information is for to attract customers for more trusted our company. So we need to distribute our financial to others. So that's all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Ahmad Kami Hakim Maisa and my registration number is 01 DKP 19F 2010 and I will present about the decision making of the company. Um, firstly, uh, decision making is the process of making decision by identifying a decision, uh, gathering information and assessing upper alternative resolutions. And using a step by step decision making process uh, can help you to make those uh, to make more deliberate, thoughtful decision by organizing uh, relevant information and defining alternatives. This approach increases the chances that you will choose the most satisfying alternative possible. Okay, so uh, the real issue that I identify um, is a company hiring only 10 vacancies of sales, uh, executive or marketing executive job, uh, and selecting the candidates depends on their qualifications. Okay, uh, employee requiring is an activity of identifying and soliciting individuals either from the within or the outside an organization to fill a job vacancy or staff for groups. Okay. Uh, requirement is a key role for human resource um, professional resource professionals as because new talent is essential for an organization to meet its goals uh, and to uh, succeed 
in a rapidly changing marketplace. The purpose of selection process is to pick up the most suitable candidate who will meet the requirements uh, of the job and organization in organization best. So, to find out which job applicant will be successful if hired, okay, based on the issue that I being that are being in the identified, decision that effective to the issue uh, is firstly is hiring a good employee for organization is an important thing, can be uh, can be a daunting task to recruit uh, and keep the and keep the top talent of the candidate, reviewing resumes and borrowing browsing profile is only part of the job. Now. Selecting uh, a qualified person with all the requirements, this can help the company to run smoothly if the candidates successfully complete their job and deliver valuable contribution to the, to the organizations. Okay, a selection system should rely upon a job analysis. Um, this ensures that the selection criteria significant organization. The requirement for a candidate selection system is based on the knowledge, skills, abilities works experience and personal attributes okay um apa ni? Uh, finally the desire or required outcome of the decision making process is firstly is first uh, find the best candidate for the vacancy and second is to manage the requirement process to ensure that the organization validates uh, validates and needs and, and needs its needs uh, the company internal and external in organization um, next is the attracting and recruiting skilled employees and run uh, and then run the internal requirement process and uh, the last one is the building the strong HR marketing platform so um, that's uh, only the I explain is only from me next I will continue to the other to the my partner right thank you Hello, Assalamualaikum. Nama saya Muhammad Arif bin Muhammad Iskandar from DKB3. Uh, my metric number is 01DKB19F2018. Uh, hari ni saya akan present tentang internal hiring dan external hiring. Okay. First of all, internal hiring atau internal recruitment. Uh, it is refers to the hiring at employees who are currently employed in the organization. Ah uh, maksud dia kat sini uh, internal hiring ni pengambilan pekerja dari dalam organization macam dia ambil pekerja yang ada dalam organization untuk diserap untuk jawatan kosong tu. Okey, dalam ni dia ada advantage dengan disadvantage iaitu uh, advantage dia adalah familiarity familiarity and assurance uh, save cost time and energy of course uh, dia save cost time and energy sebab uh, tak payah membuang masa untuk cari pekerja dia just ambil pekerja dari dalam organization je uh, dan increase employee moral okay disadvantage dia adalah lack of diversity may create conflict and resentment Uh, dia kat sini sebab pekerja lain akan rasa dengki lah sebab orang ada yang dapat naik pangkat kan So orang macam boleh menimbulkan konflik ah dengan kebencian uh, Yang at this advantage yang ketiga leave a gap in existing workforce workforce. Okay masuk kepada external hiring atau external recruitment Uh, ni involves hiring people from outside the organization uh, external hiring ni melawan dengan internal hiring yang di mana external hiring ni dia mengambil pekerja dari luar organisasi macam dia buat iklan mencari pekerja kosong ke ha, dia kira ambil dari luar organisasi lah external hiring ok Uh, dia dia pun ada dia punya kelebihan dan dia punya kelemahan iaitu advantage and disadvantage. Uh, the first advantage is gain a, gain new perspective. Uh, larger pool of applicants applic application uh, and gain competitive insight. Uh, then disadvantage more time and cost. Uh, sebab 
mengambil banyak masa dan perbelanjaan sebab dia kita kena buat iklan tu lah kan so membuang masa lah kalau nak ambil pekerja dari luar negara kira macam external hiring ni dia kalau nak ambil pekerja tu kira macam membuang masa macam mengambil masa yang lebih lama dan kos perbelanjaan yang lebih lama then high, higher risk and damage to employee morale uh, that's all from, from me thank you